I've had dreams that weren't just dreams. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're breaking down the trailer for The Matrix Resurrections. After all these years, to be going back to where it all started, back to The Matrix. For this list, we're looking at the most interesting aspects of the trailer and deciphering just what might be going on. Fair warning, we will be discussing the events of the first three films, so spoilers ahead. How jazzed are you about a return to The Matrix? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. The Song Selection You take the blue pill, the story ends, you wake up in your bed and believe whatever you want to believe. You take the red pill, you stay in Wonderland, and I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. The first Matrix film famously included allusions to Lewis Carroll's Alice in Wonderland, with talk of going down the rabbit hole. Resurrections looks to be seriously doubling down on the parallels. One pill makes you larger, and one pill makes you small. In the trailer, we are graced with the sounds of Jefferson Airplane's White Rabbit, which you can imagine is about the aforementioned work. But with lyrical talk of pills making you larger and smaller, it's hard to believe the band didn't foresee the Matrix movies back in the 60s. In any case, it's a definite mood setter, and a thematically appropriate one at that. Feed your head indeed. Number 9. Familiar Literature As if a song about Alice in Wonderland wasn't clear enough, we get visual confirmation when Neo enters a cafe of some kind. Go ask Alice. The woman at the counter is reading the Carol classic and its sequel through the looking glass. We have a feeling that the Resistance is trying to communicate with Neo to wake him from whatever trance he's found himself in. The reason the woman can be trusted? Note the color of her glasses, as they match the red pill Morpheus famously uses to expose people to the truth. Remember. All I'm offering is the truth, nothing more. And if we're looking under the surface, the book cover is revealed at about one minute, one second, which is binary code for computers and Neo's apartment number in the first movie. You're two hours late. Number eight, new look Neo, same old Keanu. Though we usually think of Neo as being clean-cut, his return here shows the look Keanu Reeves has been sporting as of late. We call it the John Wick. Mr. Wick, do enjoy your party. Sidebar, what if John Wick 4 and Matrix 4 are actually the same movie? Probably not, but we can dream. You pissed John. <gasps> are you? <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, Neo's look does change a few times in the trailer, as we first get a glimpse of an older man in the mirror. When she's ten feet tall. Whether this is an aged-up Neo or someone else makes us wonder if it's not his body in the real world. Either way, he is seeing it through a looking glass, no? Fear not, however, as he does appear to don his signature trench coat later on. Number 7. The Blue-Haired Girl If you want the truth, Neo, you're going to have to follow me. Continuing the references to Alice in Wonderland comes Jessica Hennick's character, who, for now, we'll refer to as the blue-haired girl. She approaches Neo with promises of the truth and flashes him her rabbit tattoo. Much like Alice followed the white rabbit, so too will Neo follow the blue-haired girl. But it's not the first time he's picked up on this cue. And you know you know in the first film, He's prompted to follow two customers of his, Choi and Dujour, the latter of whom sports the familiar tat. Come on. It'll be fun. I promise. Yeah. Sure. I'll go. This isn't the only callback in the trailer, as Neo looks at birds that curiously move like the squiddy sentinels. And 
Neo looks to be getting into another lobby shootout, which will hopefully be as baller as the first. Number 6. The Return of the Agents You look surprised to see me again, Mr. Anderson. It just wouldn't be a Matrix movie without some black-suited baddies stirring up trouble for our heroes. While Hugo Weaving won't be reprising his role as the delectably villainous Agent Smith, we will see a familiar face in Daniel Bernhardt's Agent Johnson. And it seems he's up to his old ways by taking over the body of a blue pill. We probably can't talk about bad guys, though, without mentioning Jonathan Groff's character. While who he's playing remains under wraps, we have a feeling he'll be getting down and dirty, as Neo is seen fighting someone who appears to be Groff in a setting reminiscent of the underground subway platform from the first movie. Sorry, Groff Sauce, but we just can't trust you anymore after Hamilton. Cause when push comes to shove, I will kill your friends and family <laughs> to remind you of my love. Number 5. An Unnerving Elevator Ride While the trailer doesn't come out and say it, we're pretty confident that Neo has found himself unwittingly trapped in the Matrix. It is the world that has been pulled over your eyes to blind you from the truth. What truth? That you are a slave, Neo. Like, there are numerous indicators, but none more so than when Neo's in an elevator with passengers who are, in more ways than one, plugged in. And the ones that mother gives you the Matrix movies already felt like they were ahead of their time. But 2021 finally catches up to them with the inclusion of some sheeple who are maybe even literally enslaved by their own devices. Thankfully, Neo seems to be getting wise to the grand illusion. But are we? Is this the Matrix? Are we being pacified with awesome trailers like these? If so, it's working. After nine years, you know what I realize? Ignorance is bliss. Number 4. Becoming the One Speaking of shattering the grand illusion, Neo looks to be picking up old tricks of his own again, slipping back into his role as the One. In what looks to be another dojo within the sparring program, Neo blasts away a young Morpheus. More on him later. Then he does something similar as a shockwave pushes back a whole SWAT team. However, the piece de résistance of his moveset has to be stopping the bullets, which he does here as well. But this is a sequel after all. And the trailer goes even bigger by having him redirect a missile of some kind into an enemy helicopter. After all that he's done, are we sure Keanu isn't the one? Wow. He is the one. Number 3. Role Reversal You know the question, just as I did. What is the Matrix? In the first film, Neo is clued into the concept of the Matrix and ultimately rescued by Trinity and the Resistance upon being unplugged. Here, it seems the opposite may come to pass as Trinity appears to be plugged into the Matrix herself under the control of the machines. Hi. Have we met? Unfortunately, though, she seems to have no memory of him. And it probably has something to do with that bracelet of hers that looks an awful lot like the squids. Furthermore, Neo starts to see the coding embedded in Trinity's program indicating she may not be completely real. The only thing that matters to you is still here. I know it's why you're still fighting and why you will never give up. And she likely isn't the original version, considering her apparent death in Revolutions. It's all right. It's time. I've done all that I could do. Now you have to do the rest. Number two, a young Morpheus. You don't know me. No? Upon the casting of Yahya Abdul-Mateen II, speculation was rampant that he would be playing a younger version of Morpheus. 
And it looks like the simplest answer was the correct one. You're too fast. Do you believe that my being stronger or faster has anything to do with my muscles in this place? While we will certainly miss Lawrence Fishburne in the role, this casting decision has us excited, and in more ways than one. As to how it affects the movie, it has us wondering if Resurrections won't be playing around with time. What with old Neo in the mirror and the literal resurrection of Trinity. As for how the new Morpheus will be explained, it could have something to do with the shot where he astonishingly touches the same kind of substance Neo walked through with the blue-haired girl. I'm trying to free your mind, Neo, but I can only show you the door. You're the one that has to walk through it. Before we unveil our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. A Trinity of Screams. The shot of Trinity screaming into multiple personas has us intrigued. Do not pass Popo. The blue-haired girl hops a cop car with a sign in the background clearly telling her not to. A sitting duck. A presumably oblivious Neo bathes with a rubber metaphor on his head. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. The Therapist's Office While we knew we were watching a Matrix trailer, the first 20 seconds or so gave us a lot of early teases. For starters, a cat is seen walking across the desk, indicating another glitch in the Matrix. What did you just say? Nothing, just had a little deja vu. What did you see? What happened? A black cat went past us, and then another that looked just like it. Then, Dr. Neil Patrick Harris uses an interesting word to a guy who's good with guns. Thomas? You seem particularly triggered right now. Can you tell me what happened? After some dream talk, we get a lot of indications that Neo, or Thomas, is in the Matrix, from the circuit-like pattern of the wallpaper to the blue of the therapist's sweater and glasses. Am I crazy? We don't use that word in here. Clearly, someone has Neo taking the blue pill, but he soon wakes up to the truth. Based on the quality of this trailer, we are taking the red pill all the way. Time to fly. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.